today I'm working on this uh, piece of equipment. This one is Home Master uh, Sandwich Grill, 220 volt, 700 watt, and of course made in China. So this is in bad shape. You can see there's a tape provided over here by somebody before me, and it's not good. It's not uh, something in order. I mean, you can see this is broken here. This is broken and here this one also somebody tried it actually before me and they were not able to even open it or close it properly so I'm going to check it I will, I'm, I will make a repair on this one and I will try to bring it in some good state so here is a power plug I'm going to put it in the power EC you can see and here nothing is coming you can see the no light no light is coming it means that this is broken inside there is some problem and we are going to troubleshoot it we are going to figure it out and try to repair it uh, for this repair actually you will need some tools a few tools are required these are the common tools which I am using a screwdriver uh, whatever a set of screwdriver and uh, of course our very good friend multimeter we will use so this one I am going to open it and then we will see what is the problem inside. There are some shortcuts actually one can use to repair this unit. I will show those also and I will show the proper technique also how to do it. Uh, first I am opening it so for the opening I will have to remove this grommet or this uh, leg rubber from here there is a screw underneath. I have to remove that it is already opened so remove that one and here is also one screw. I would have to re remove that one also. So this is the proper way I am going to show you how to open this one. The screw had been dropped actually. Here this one is. And putting it aside. I am cleaning my workspace a little bit to work it properly. And then later on I will remove, I will open it from here and uh, of course open a few screws which are over here you can see but they are broken inside so I'm not going to remove those instead the downside screws which uh, standing on are in good play in good order they are not broken I'm going to remove these screws you can see just remove these two screws so this unit will come off as you can see this unit has been come off and the top also I have to remove it and here is one screw here this one these two screws are actually one is already opened this clamp is this hook is opened so this screw I have to open and just I'm going to show you on camera this screw is opened put it side and then this unit will come off of its you can see whatever this uh, plus uh, plastic housing from the housing it came off so now everything is visible here and downside I am going to show you also things are visible so we are going to troubleshoot this unit the way is we are using our multimeter and how it is is actually you can see this wiring this is going to the lights so the lights are not coming but here if I will see everything is okay it seems good no problem and I am going to test everything in front of you so that you will be able to test E1 so this is the filament which is providing heat actually and testing this filament is essential you must have to test this filament first if this filament will be good we will proceed otherwise if it is bad we will not proceed further because uh, these things are not easily available and uh, one, uh, one is not able to get those so for that the multimeter red probe should be on the ohm continuity diode and voltage and the black should be on common we will not use these two so this is your multimeter setting will vary but I am going to show you the common technique how to do it and then later on you should have to put your multimeter on continuity or in ohm range this is the ohm range if your multimeter have continuity this is better this meter has so I am going to put it on the continuity and then this is showing out of limits OL now I am going to connect these two probes this will beep and also it will show zero ohms so you can see 0 0 you are getting as well as a beep while I am connecting both together it means there is a continuity in between so this is what we are going to check 
it's that this this uh, filament inside should be intacted. This is what is the testing. So we are going to test it. As you can listen, the beep and 22 something reading is coming. This is not 22 ohm actually. Ohm value is different, but 22 is coming and the beep is there. It means that there is integrity. Integrity is there. Now this uh, thermostat unit. This is a small thermostat. You can see this is the thermostat which is taking temperature sensing temperature from here and then it is opening normally it will be closed so we are going to check it for the continuity there should be continuity as I'm checking so it's showing something zero it means this is short circuited at the moment well it will get hot this heating plate then this will be opened and that is what is the normal function so it is and then later on what we will do is we would have to check the downside of this uh, unit uh, actually downside has also some connections and something like that uh, we are having over here we are going to check this so the, here is what I'm going to check there is another filament or element you can see there is another element we are going to check for that so here is that element we are going to check so you can listen and also you will be able to get a 0 or 22 something like that continuity just I'm going to show you on the camera it's difficult for here to place everything but I'm trying to okay so now I'm connecting and you are getting 24 something like that 22 24 is okay and listening also the beep so these uh, I mean to say these fill elements are good in shape so if the elements are good in shape it means that the unit is repairable and now these three are the connections I'm just I'm showing on the camera these three are the connections which are coming from the plug so there should be the continuity should be there from these two and the third one is ground actually the third one is not very much important but these two are very very much important these are bringing power to the unit so we are checking for those the continuity uh, from the from these points to the uh, legs of the plug we are going to check if the continuity is there or not we can listen it continuity is there for one for the other one we are going to check and here we can listen for the other one as well and for the third one ground we are going to check and of course we are getting continuity it means that continuity is there power is coming but the unit have some problem we are going to troubleshoot it so if I use a little bit mind over here and look at my eyes by my eyes even I will be able to get the fault and uh, that fault if I will show you that will be very easily come in my understanding see this wire this wire is broken this is broken from here this one so this is a very uh, easily found fault and this is corroded also so we will clean this corrosion as well as we will remove this we will replace uh, this connection and will properly connect it over here some way we will do because the soldering will not do instead we will need uh, same arrangement as it is over here you can see this uh, u-type plug is required over here so we will put it the exact name I don't know but we will put it over here and we will crimp it to this one and we'll put it over here so that this unit will come to life again and here is one other thing I am just going to show you is the fuse this one this fuse is there so for first we should have to check for this fuse also this fuse is in intacted or not so that's also easy we are going to put one uh, multimeter one probe over here and the other one to the other end so this will check the continuity in the fuse so we are going to check it but it is broken it is broken inside so we are going to check this fuse uh, we are going to remove this one uh, these two screws we have to open and then underneath this fuse will come off of the unit So this one, this fuse had been come off, this is inside the tubing, you can see uh, rubber tubing, they have provided this fuse and what is the rating is, just I am going to show you on the camera, you can see very close up, you 
you can see the close up of this uh, fuse it is written something 10 ampere if it is focusing I don't know by this camera it is 10 ampere to 40 degree Celsius and 250 volt so this is what is the fuse rating but this fuse is broken as I checked this fuse was bad I'm going to rewire this fuse there is no replacement and uh, of course there is no need for this fuse these companies are just putting something like this these items uh, to make these things disposable if the fuse is, go is gone so this whole unit is going to be thrown away mm, mostly uh, these people are not repairing these things if something is going bad uh, so these are the tricks the companies are making these things uh, disposable uh, so just rewiring with two wires two strains of wires I just removed it from a regular wire you can see and rewire this fuse the rewiring is easy enough how to twist this wire on one side of the fuse and now I'm going to twist it on the other side something like this and then of course we will solder this wire over here soldering is important because there should be no loose connection or something like that our rewired fuse I'm going to solder it uh, to avoid any loose connection in future so as you can see it's just soldered and soldered well the remaining of course I will cut using my side cutter plier I will have to cut it the remaining wire like this and then I would have to put the sleeve on to make it insulated as it was something like this and for this one as you can see it should be over here for this one we will use this pad connector and the spare connector is in my hand and also a piece of sleeving glass sleeving I have to put it on later on we will insulate this using this sleeving just I put it on the wire and here I would have to put this in here and then using my pliers I have to press this connection uh, so sorry this tab I have to press and this one also I have to press it on on the wire so that it will hold the wire properly there is a proper tool also I have one but at the moment it is not in my hand so that's why I'm using my pliers regular pliers to do this job and the plier will also do of course it will do for sure so by this way just I pressed it and pressed it well The wires are grabbed in and it is pressed and further I can use my cutter pliers to press it even more even further I press so this way and now the sleeving I have to put it on on this spade connector so something like this how much I can I would have to like this now is the time to put it on and for sure I have to clean it a little bit the contact area from the rust as the rust had been produced with a loose connection where there is loose connection there is heat and heat is producing rust oxidation so this way I would have to clean it a little bit and then put this spread connector on it should go very tightly like it is and then something like this now is the time to fix this thing over here I have to hold this fuse in this metal bracket but well I will put it it's difficult to hold everything in place so this screw just I have to put it in place and write it on some way like this and of course the other other screw also I have to write it to hold this fuse in its position in its place something like this that's it it's hold now but it should not create any short circuiting 
and this is what is the purpose and now is the time uh, to fix this cover as you can see this I just uh, repaired this one as well as the other side I repaired also which was underneath these uh, screws I repaired that thing uh, using uh, regular epoxy and the screws of course I will put them in here are two screws which are holding this piece together the heating element so here this screw will go in and the other screw also these bigger screws will be going somewhere over here and then with a small Phillips screwdriver I have to tighten them some way like this the other one also I would have to tighten be snugged so it is now these two screws small screws I have to put them in these two holes to make to make it perfect I mean tight so this is and these two plastic pieces I have to put them on on these screws holes now assembly had been completed now is the time to check it so I'm going to check this unit in electricity so I am putting in electric power so lights will come yeah the light is coming but I don't know whether it will be picked by camera or not you can see yeah it's picked you can see this light and uh, while it will be hot enough this green light will come this blue this green this uh, red will go out and uh, the green will come as now green is coming as you can see uh, so I'm going to check the temperature for you um, for the temperature this is my handheld uh, thermometer and here is its sensor I'm putting in now the room temperature which is 28 degree you can see 28 degrees Celsius uh, putting this uh, temperature sensor inside and you will see the temperature change in a little time it will take the temperature as you can see now the temperature is climbing something nine sec nine second it is taking I think for one for the reading so the temperature is climbing you can see so this is what was a repair on this particular unit the griller or the toaster griller something like that so you can see the temperature is climbing on and on uh, thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned this was basic electrical repair but it is important because if in your um, home something same machine is going bad or something like that is going bad you can repair it by the way as I showed it, showed it. thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like